I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will discuss movement of the object under the force of gravity when it moves vertically upwards and then falls. The question here is, a baseball is hit vertically upwards, the position function s of t in meters of the ball above the ground is s of t equals to minus 5t square plus 30t plus 1, where t is in seconds. Determine the maximum height reached by the ball. Determine the velocity of the ball when it is caught one meter above the ground. Now, in this particular case, what we are considering is that a ball is hit vertically upwards and then it falls, right? So, it has been hit from the height of one meter since if I substitute t equals to zero, s of 0 is 1. So, uh, let us say this is the ground. Right? So, that is kind of the situation and it is caught at the height of 1 meters. So, let me uh, go back with the equation and then explain what I have sketched here. We are given that the height s of t is equals to minus 5 t square plus 30 t plus 1. Let's find the velocity. So velocity is the derivative of this height. So it gives us uh, minus 10t plus 30. So that becomes the expression for velocity. Part A is determine the maximum height reached by the ball. So at the maximum height, velocity will be zero, right? So at maximum height, it's a turning point, right? So velocity is going to be zero. So we'll put this condition here to find the time when it reaches the maximum height. So, so zero equals to minus 10t plus 30 or 10t equals to 30t equals to 30 divided by 10, which is three seconds. So we know that after three seconds, ball reaches to the maximum height. So it is t equals to three when it reaches the maximum height. So at time t equals to three, we can find what position is. So we substitute three for t in the expression, minus five t squared t is three plus 30 times 3 plus 1, right? So let's calculate this. 9 times 3 is 45, plus 3 times 3 is 9, 90 plus 1, correct? So that is 45 plus 1, 46, and the units are meters. So at this point, the position here is 46 meters above the ground. Right? So this height, whatever we are measuring is is from the ground, right? So this is from the ground. So first part we have done, determine the maximum height reached. So the maximum height reached is 46 meters. So our answer is maximum height is 46 meters. Part B is determine the velocity of the ball when it is caught one meter above the ground. So we have to first find the time when the object is one meter above the ground, right? So, so we can find this time by substituting s of t s as one, right? So if I write one here and find time, we get minus five t squared plus 30 t plus one. Taking one to this side, we get zero equals two and we can factor out minus 5t, we get t, and when you factor out minus 5, you get minus 6 here, right? 30 divided by 5, minus 6. So that indicates that height of 1 meter is reached at t equals to 0, so this height is at t equals to 0, or at t equals to 6. So height of 1 meter, this is 1 meter, is at t equals to zero, that is the initial position, or at t equals to six. We need to find the velocity at this time, so what we will do now is substitute t in the expression for velocity. Velocity is derivative of position. 
So velocity when t is 6 is equal to minus 10 times 6 minus 10 times 6 plus 30 which is minus 30 right minus means it is coming downwards so downward movement is shown by minus so the velocity is so we can write down this answer velocity is minus 30 meters per second or you can say 30 meters per second downwards Right? So that is how such questions can be answered. So I hope that helps you to understand the situation and do similar questions. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos, and if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.